What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. Would you want to know what your cat is saying? I don't. I don't. You don't? Me neither. Do you do you really want to be? We all know Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. Do you really want do you really want Dr. Doolittle's powers? No. I you don't. don't. I, because because like I I think in a fan, fantasy world yeah it's kind of cute but in the real world like no I, I don't I don't like I don't want animals talking to me I, I, like, I think I think I there are circumstances where I would want it yeah. and there are circumstances where I would not want it yeah like if an animal was hurt like, no pain like no if it was like get me to a hospital I'm hurt or you know when if they keep like it, you know how it takes humans a long time to realize that there's something wrong with their animal. And then they finally bring it to the vet and they're like, oh, yeah, you've, it swallowed a scrabble piece and it's been choking on it. Because, you know, we're just like, oh, it's making noise. Yeah, in that case, I would want it to be like, help, but... I, I was thinking more like, if I'm in the jungle and, mm -hmm. and, and some animal's about to kill me, oh, yeah. I can at least be like, yo, stop. Let's, uh, let's talk about this. But I'll tell you an easy solution to that. Jungle animals are probably going to kill you, so just run away when you see one. Like, you don't even need to know. Like, wh what do you think? It's going to be like, Mike, shake my hand? No, well, no it's going to kill you. You can surprise and be like, look, if you, if you don't kill me, I'm, I'll take you somewhere. I'll feed you some steak. No, see, here's the thing. You're under the assumption that we, we will, the, this device will translate our words to them. No. no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in general. In general, if okay. I can, if I'm Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. Oh, I see. If you're Dr. Doolittle, yeah. well, the public might now have a chance to basically understand your feline animals now. Maybe your dogs in the future, because there's a company that invented a collar that assume, assumably could predict what your cat is trying to say when it meows. Come on. Well, look, Come look, on, I, I look, eventually, I'm sure, I mean, every animal has this, has a language, I'm sure, and eventually, maybe we'll be able to crack it, but I, I think a lot of awkwardness can come from this, right? Because, like, you're living, you're, it's basically, because your cat is basically your roommate. Right. That, that you don't care what you do in front of it. Right. And it sees everything you do. Right. Right? Right. So, it's just going to get, get, get yeah. really awkward if he can talk. Because yeah. right now, it's okay, it's just an animal, it doesn't talk, you don't know what it's thinking, fine. But if it can talk, like, hey, Jenny, hey, Jenny, a guy you brought home last night was like, was like a piece of, <laughs> piece of crap. Yeah. And uh, your spaghetti sucks, I hate yeah. living with you. I ate a piece of food you dropped on the floor, you're the worst cook ever. Like, hey, hey, you're too fat, you might want to get off your butt. You know, yeah. like, of it's course. It's awkward. Well, here's, here's the thing too, I feel like cats, I feel like cats are, for most people, they're one of the hardest animals to figure out what they're trying to communicate to you, mm -hmm. right? Dogs, yo, dogs are easy. Dogs, there's a reason why they call dogs a man's best friend. Because basically, dogs will love you no matter what. Cats will not. Well, you don't know that. I, I think that I mean, dogs I mean, if will- if you like a dog thing, it, they could literally be like, I only, I'm only being nice to you for food. If you're not looking one day, I might just kill you. See, I feel like dog, like you watched Garfield and Odie, right? Odie's that dog where like you could curse at it, you could be mean to it, and it'll keep coming back like, I love you, I love you. I feel like that's how dogs are. I feel like cats are actually, I feel like cats are mean. That's why I don't like cats. And people are like, you don't like cats? I like little kittens, but honestly, cats, they have a mind of its own. And actually, there's a doctor, Wheatsman, that wrote a book, published book last year, that basically translates nonverbal and verbal cues from the cat. And it basically is saying that cats only meow when they want the human to do something. Think about that for a second. Think about that well, for a no, second. They meow at each other. They, 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 they do they meow? Wait, 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 wait. Did you ever see Garfield? They get on a fence, they meow songs like no, that. No, man. I'm talking about real. Have you seen two cats meow at each other? Have you seen that? Dude, I must have seen that at some point. Think about it, because he's saying, think about it. Yeah. When is the last time you saw that? they meow at each other. Maybe they don't, and maybe it's this guy has a point. It's not like I hate around cats all the time. Well, this guy, this doctor is saying a few things, right? So he's saying that when a cat meows, it's trying to train you, train you, so the tables are reversed. So really, the cats don't listen to you, and they're basically like, I'm smarter than you. I want you to give me food, so I'm gonna meow. Meow. Think about well, that. Dogs bark at you when it wants food too. Yeah, but the dogs are highly trainable. You're like, spot, sit, and it's like, sit. And you know, and you can train dogs to not bark. You know, you could train dogs to do whatever you want, basically. You could train a dog to sniff out a bomb. Yo, like, I, that's I, crazy. I, 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 I love cats. I yeah. love dogs. I love all animals. Yeah. I'm not an animalist. I love all things equally. So. You're telling me you love a cat and a dog equally? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't have a preference? No, I used to have a pet cat. Okay. I tried to get a pet dog once, my mom won't let me. So I had a pet rabbit, my mom cooked it. Oh, so no, 
the true story. Oh no, dude. That's so sad, man. Yo, that, yeah, I can't believe it. That's true story. Yo, so you're saying when people ask you, you know how, you know the question people are like, are you a dog person or a cat person? Yeah. You're like, I'm a both person. I hate person. that question. You hate like, that question? I like both. And people are like, you can't like both. Why not? I like both. I like animals in general. I don't see the difference between a cat and a dog and a rabbit. Has I a like rabbit too. Has a girl ever dumped you? Not dumped you, but just like, this is over. If you, if you can't pick Who one of those. that? I'm, do, I'm just saying. Some what kind people, of what kind of shallow girl would this be? I'm saying some people really hold the cat and the dog thing to like. Nah, it's too. It's too much. Man. That's not me. That's not me. Right, I'm gonna tell you guys a joke about communicating with animals to wrap up this video. You ready? So there's this Christian walking down the road or jungle, whatever. A lion jumps out, but I eat him. So he prays to God. He says, "God, please make this lion a Christian so he won't eat me." <laughs> so then the lion stops mid pants, yeah. drops to his knees, and prays. It says, "Talks. He talks." Yeah. He's like, God, thank you for this wonderful meal I'm about to receive. <laughs> I love it. Good one, bro. All right, all right. Uh, anyway, let us know your thoughts on the story. Would you want to hear what your pets are thinking? Thanks for watching. See you.